See? See, this is how things get out of hand. I'm glad he came out and made a statement. But, let's talk about it. John Poyega from Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the British actor who is black, accepted award last night at the Screens Nations Film and Television Show or a program that they put on. And he talked about diversity in the film industry, which everyone knows is a political hot topic for anybody in this, you know, in this business. So, you know, the protest that happened at the Oscars and everything else, when he won his award, he got up and went into a speech that mentioned that diversity situation. And he said the most targeted words to complain about what's going on and not going on is not going to benefit us. Be the change you want to be. Be the change. And continue and focus. Now what he what he did was throw gasoline on a flame that was just dying out. And the people with the agendas, the networks and everyone else wanted to keep this going. Threw gasoline on the fire like, look, see? There's a black guy who's saying exactly what we're saying. You're blowing this thing out of proportion. So, they put John Boyega in the trending topics. And he was like, whoa, let me clarify what I meant. Because I'm, I think this is misleading people. And they're running the wrong way. Because he has so much hate coming through his Twitter inbox. So he put it on his Twitter page regarding his comments at the Screen Nations Award. He said he's not saying that the complaints are invalid or should not be heard. What he's saying is that action with words without action can't help right now. I agree that we need to be heard, but some do the talking and no work. But I do agree. I didn't clarify. I was an emotional receiving the award. And I just wanted to say that there was work to be done. I'm not in this position without the people that champion me. I was in Pekin struggling not too long ago. I'm not above anyone. And that is true. But people don't know what Peckham is or Pekin. It's just another poor ghetto. He was struggling overseas. There's other places around here that are poor, just like they got places where you live in areas that are poor. So he's come from nothing, just like everyone else. But I don't see anything that he said that was wrong. I said the same thing. What's the end game? What's the move? okay this is supposed to give us better roles in films because we you know we boycott the Oscars but what about everything else this brought a lot of light to the issue but are they going to change some of the roles because I stated it before with all the movie roles we've seen we've seen the gay homosexual we've seen the token black guy got for no apparent reason he has to be the crazy one. He's got to be the comic relief. He can't play the same. I'm like, why can't he just be that educated doctor that just want to go do his job and go home? Why couldn't he just play that role? That was a good role. He had a family, two kids. Nope, he's got to be the, the playboy who wants to hit on all the white girls. He's got to be the guy with the kid that he neglects. He's got to be the guy that breaks into a house and runs away for no apparent reason. And we got to chase him down and find out who he's working for. These type of roles, it seems like, well, we need this film. Let's go to the black guy list. Black guy, black guy, black guy, black guy. Same thing for Hispanics. How many Hispanic gang members they going to keep? I mean, but they stay employed. They keep them in every film. I'm like, man, that's the same Hispanic gang 
That was another movie. I'm like, this gang here is getting bankrolled. They come right in, shooting at the police and getting shot up and falling over with a thousand tattoos on. They still get movie roles. So, I don't know. I just like to see just people getting employed just for the role, period. They just put the best actor or actress in the roles, period. That's it. But John Hammond told me one time, he said, "There's how it's, like, it's just like everything. There's the artist view of things, and then there's the business side of things, and then they gotta find a middle ground. Because for the business side of things, you just can't put everybody in a starring role, no matter who's the best. You don't just put them there. It's a marketing ploy." You want to put somebody in there who people are going to run to go pay money to go see. You say that's how we determine who we paid so much money to these people for. Because we believe that they're going to pay money to go see them more than the project itself. Because nothing is worse than having a project that's worth seeing and no one's going to see it. That breaks someone's heart. And me, I watch about 200 movies a year at the movie theater. So I know when a great project is at the movies. And there's like nobody there. And I'm like, wow. How did they mess this up? Either the studios or somebody didn't have budget money. Didn't want to invest. A lot of reasons. A lot of reasons transpire in those situations. But Tia, yes, I got your text. And I addressed this situation based off your text. I was just going to let this blow over. But I said, why not? So I'm out.